Hello Booktube and welcome to my bookshelves. So today I am, because it's the middle of the year, we just passed the longest day, so I am going to do my top six books of 2018. So these are going to be in no particular order, but I am going to save my favourite book of the year so far to the end. But the first book I am going to show you so Wobble to Death is the first of a series and I think there's six or seven books in the series and I've read four now, I'm about to read the fifth, I think. Um, but this is Wobble to Death, this is the first one. This is set and it's probably the one of the most interesting settings for a murder mystery that I have read for a long long time. This is set during a long distance walking race and in the Victorian era they had these these races called wobbles and they took place over five days and the competitors had to walk around a track, a one mile track, and whoever completed the furthest distance in those five days won. And they can do 50, 60, 70 miles per day. And they would run or walk or jog for three or four hours, take an hour off, then they do another three or four hours, sleep for two hours, then they'll come back out and rest in. And yeah, the setting and the the detail of this one was amazing. And in the midst of it all, you have a murder. So I thought this is probably one of the best original murder mysteries I've read for a long time. And that is Wobble to Death by Peter Lovesey. Another murder mystery series that I've enjoyed this year. I read the first one last year but I've continued on this year and this is the third of the series and this is the Ashley Weaver Amory Ames series and this is a most novel revenge. This is a, a cosy mystery set in 1930s and it is in the style of the Golden Age Agatha Christie style um, sort of murder mystery. And this is a most novel revenge. So Amory and her husband are invited to a country house where there's a reunion of old friends. And one of the friends is writing a book about a, a mysterious death that happened years ago. And she's going to reveal who the murder is. Needless to say, there is another murder during that weekend. And Amory and her husband are on the hand to investigate. And I really love this series. There's four in the series. I did a wrap up of the whole series so I will link that one down below as well. But that is the Ashley Weaver series. Next up and third on my list is another murder mystery and this is Antidote to Venom by Freeman Wills Croft. This is in the British Library Crime Classics edition and I love these these re-releases of these old books. This was originally in the 1930s, 1938 to be precise, and this again was a really original book. And I was really surprised by this. I hadn't read any Freeman Wills Crofts before, but yeah, I was really surprised. So, so this was described as an inverted murder mystery in in which we know who the murderer is at the start and then we follow his journey and then the murder happens and then we follow the police inspector who then comes in and solves it. So it's a little bit like the old episodes of Columbo where the, the opening is the murder and you see everything and then Columbo comes in and solves the crime which we already know and that shouldn't work but it does and it works in this book as well so we start off and the manager of a UK zoo is having marriage difficulties and money difficulties and sort of spiraling out of control and he 
fight, he comes up with a plan to murder somebody using snake venom. And yeah, absolutely fascinating. I've never read anything quite like this one, and I really, really enjoyed it. And that is Freeman Wills Croft's Antidote to Venom. Next up is The Dry by Jane Harper. Now this won the CWA Gold Dagger. Now this is set in Australia uh, during one of their drought seasons and a small town is experiencing the worst drought for years and years and years. And we follow a man, an ex-policeman, who comes back to the town after many, many years of being away for the funeral of one of his friends. The family of the of the man is not convinced that that what the official line is correct. So what happened was um, a whole family was killed, slaughtered in their homes, and the husband was then found in his car with gunshot wounds to the head and apparent suicide. And the family don't quite believe that, so this policeman from out of town starts asking questions and starts to uncover the truth. And this was very, very atmospheric. Um, I read this in the middle of winter. I think it was snowing outside when I read this. And yet I could still feel the warmth and the heat and the dryness from from the Australian outback. And yeah, really, really atmospheric. A very good story. The use of flashbacks in this was really, really clever. So you'll get the main story of the investigation but then there'll be flashbacks to like 30 years previously when all these friends were together and another death occurred. But it'll be interspersed, so you'll get paragraphs of the old story, but then they sort of relate to the new story as well. But it's really, really clever. And, and that is The Dry by Jane Harper. And my final two favourite books of 2018 so far are going to be two sci-fi thrillers. And the first one is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This was really, really clever. And it follows a man who is, who is kidnapped and injected with some sort of drug. And when he wakes up, he is in the same place and surrounded by familiar friends and people but something is not quite the same and he realizes or he soon finds out that he has been moved into a different timeline a different dimension where things that have happened to him in the past so so he's got a wife and kid in his original life when he wakes up in the new life he doesn't have a wife and kids and and then he tries to find his way back to his original dimension and that is dark matter really really quick fast read full of twists and turns and and that is dark matter by Blake Crouch but i've saved my favorite book till last and that is the martian by andy weir now, I read this as part of a group buddy read organised by Dane at Dane Reads. And we all really, really enjoyed this book. Now, I wasn't sure what to expect. I haven't seen the film. I knew nothing about it apart from there was a man trapped on Mars. I knew nothing else. And I really, really fell in love with this book. And... It was so exciting. Now, the opening pages are really quite scientific, which I wasn't, again, I wasn't really expecting. And I thought, well, I hope the whole book's not going to be just science. But it wasn't. It was really, really exciting. And then and then you get viewpoints from Earth and you get viewpoints from other characters. And the tension really goes up as everything that can go wrong does go wrong to this man. And... Yeah, you, uh, the last pages, you're sort of, I was reading this, I was almost breathless, you know, reading this. And the thing that really surprised me about this book was the humour. It's really, really funny. There are moments of real, real tension where you, you know, his life is in danger and you're thinking, oh my 
God, how is he going to get out of this? And then he'll just crack some joke and shrug it off and there's and you start laughing and then oh yeah this this is amazing i really want to watch the film now yeah so that is my favorite book of the year so far and that is the martian by andy weir so there we go that's my six favorite books of the year so far have you read any of those books what are your top books of 2018 so far let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you all again in my next video. Thank you for watching.